January can be pretty darn quiet for video games, but you don't just have to sit around and wait for Cyberpunk 2077, or comb through your pile of 2019 games you didn't quite get to, or think about the New Year's resolutions you've already given up on, because this year has a whole bunch of really exciting looking games on the way. Whether you've forgotten these titles are on the way, or they never hit your radar, here are seven wildly unique games coming out in 2020 that you'll probably want to keep an eye out for. Since you're sitting here listening to my Australian accent, let me kick off by telling you about an Australian game. I first spotted Way to the Woods alongside a few thousand other people when its then 16-year-old developer Anthony Tam posted screenshots of the game to Reddit four years ago. Way to the Woods was shown off again recently with the trailer you're currently watching during Xbox's E3 press conference last year. The game will launch on Xbox One and PC, though it's worth noting it'll also be available on Xbox Game Pass at launch. The very pretty adventure game will center around a deer and its fawn, who are, as the title would suggest, on their way to the woods. It looks to feature environmental puzzling, a wonderful soundtrack, and a journey-esque ping system that you'll use to absorb light. So long as this game doesn't go the way of Bambi, I'm so down for it. On to another game with a great art style, The Pathless was originally slated for a 2019 release after its reveal trailer at the Game Awards in 2018. But given that it's the next game from the team that made Abzu, I'm gonna say it's far better late than never. The Pathless looks to be significantly darker in tone than Abzu, unless you count the scary shark bits, but just as beautiful. The protagonist is a bow-wielding adventurer with an eagle companion who comes up against giant lava-laden foes that look like what you'd expect from the mind of developer Giant Squid. The developer intends to incorporate more traditional gameplay elements this time around, though it is maintaining its trend of unconventional controls. In The Pathless, that'll mean you don't have to aim, because the team wants players to feel like they share the talents of an expert hunter. The Pathless is coming to PS4 and PC. If you want to drop further into more mind-bending territory, 12 Minutes could be the 2020 game for you. You play as a husband who is stuck in a Groundhog Day situation where you keep reliving the same 12-minute period. When you arrive home, a police detective breaks in and accuses your pregnant wife of murder. The Kubrick-inspired interactive thriller by Louis Antonio turned a lot of heads when it was shown off at Xbox's E3 press conference last year due to its unique top-down perspective and unusual narrative structure, where your character learns from his previous runs, so new options for dialogue and actions open up as you go. Demos available to the media during E3 last year revealed that the game's main story takes six to eight hours to complete, suggesting there is plenty to be unearthed beneath the surface of 12 minutes. As for games that are perfectly suited for your downtime, Animal Crossing-inspired crafting simulator Mineko's Night Market is just oozing charm and headed to PC and Nintendo Switch later this year. The game is full of townspeople to meet, goods to sell, minigames to play, cats to harvest, yes you heard that right, and artifacts to uncover among so many other things if the trailer is anything to go by. The art style is adorable, the music is jamming, and this sure does look like a game that might be swallowing a lot of your time next year. Especially if you like cats, because boy are there a lot of cats. Though with a developer called Meowza Games, I don't know what else you expected. If this is all getting a little cutesy for you at this point in the video, then do I have the 180 for you, because this next one is Phobia Game Studios' reverse horror game Carrion, where you play as an amorphous creature that brutally kills everybody. Yeah, this is not a smooth segue. You think I could have ordered these games differently, but no, here we are. Look at the tentacle blood monster. Fantastic. Your form grows as you consume the nasty lab technicians who imprisoned you, as do your abilities though you'll want to watch out for bullets and other obstacles as you traverse the gritty facility. A PC demo released late last year to rave reviews that were particularly impressed by the style and fluidity of the movement. The entire vibe of the stealth action platformer looks to be pretty bloody engrossing, pun fully intended. So if you're keen, you can get to squishing dudes on PC and Xbox One later this year. Next up is a game you probably don't need me to tell you about, but just in case, the final act of Kentucky Route Zero is arriving alongside the release of the TV edition, which will bring the series over to PS4, Nintendo Switch, and Xbox One. If you're not already in the know, Kentucky Route Zero is described by developer Cardboard Computer as a magic realist adventure game, where you travel through a hidden highway beneath Kentucky and meet plenty of interesting strangers along the way. 
The series, which began releasing in 2013, has been almost universally praised for its strong storytelling, brilliant score, and evocative themes. If you haven't waited in yet, the final act arrives on January 28th. So if you're one of those people who likes to wait for their episodic games to finish releasing before you dig in, you couldn't pick a better time to try it out. Finally, here's one for the strategy fans, and Mafia era fans, and Doom fans, and Wizardry fans. Romero Games, the studio built by John Romero and Brenda Romero, are creating a 1920s era strategy game by way of XCOM called Empire of Sin. You step into the shoes of one of a slew of mob bosses who are actually inspired by real people, and manage the goings-on of the mob business, hire new recruits, and expand your empire into a range of different options by taking territory from your rivals. The game was first revealed at Nintendo's Direct presentation at E3 last year, and appears to combine its XCOM-esque combat with roguelike elements that randomize the starting conditions, as well as incorporating RPG elements. Empire of Sin is coming to PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC this year, so if the idea of kicking off a crime organization in 1920 Chicago where alcohol is currency sounds like a good time to you, keep an eye out for this one. If there's a great looking under the radar game coming out you think people should know about, do drop it in the comments section below, and let me know if any of these games are going on your to playlist for 2020.